Firstly, we will look at the four layer bandage which is used for venous leg ulcers. The four layer bandage, the bandages that comprise the four layers are determined by the patient's ankle circumference. The average ankle size is between 18 and 25 centimetres and if the patient has an ankle circumference between these measurements then the standard four layer bandage. For the average size ankle circumference, which is between 18 centimetres and 25 centimetres, the standard four layer bandage system would be used. This comprises of a wool layer, a crepe layer, a light compression bandage and a cohesive bandage. The first layer is the wool layer. The purpose of this is to provide padding to the bony prominences of the ankles and the tibial crest. It should be applied with the ankle at a 90 degree angle and should start at the base of the toes. The bandage should be applied over a dressing which covers the ulcer. in a figure of eight fashion around the ankle and then in a spiral up the leg covering each layer by 50% on each turn. Finishing when all the calf muscle has been encompassed and just below the knee. The second layer is a crepe layer. This adds an absorbent layer but doesn't add any compression. Again the ankle should be at a 90 degree angle and should start at the base of the toes also. Being applied as the wool layer in a figure of eight around the ankle and then being stretched at a 50% tension and applied in a spiral up the limb so that all the calf muscle is taken in. The third layer is the light compression and sometimes there is a thick webbing at the end which is removed before it is applied. This bandage is applied in a 50% tension also. If you stretch the bandage fully, that's 100% tension. If you stretch it half of its full extensibility, that's a 50% tension. 50, 100. So this bandage, as the crepe, is applied in a 50% tension. It starts again at the base of the toes and a figure of eight fashion around the ankle. But this bandage is then applied up the limb in a figure of eight fashion. It's applied up and down. And if one of the lines of the bandage is followed up and then back down, a crisscross pattern emerges up the limb. This applies three layers of bandage to the limb which increases the sub-bandage pressure. At the top of the limb it's loosened off and no tension is applied to the last turn. Any excess is removed and the bandage can be secured with a small amount of tape. The fourth layer is a cohesive compression bandage. This again is applied at a 50% stretch. 50% half of its full extensibility. It's applied at the base of the toes, but care is, is taken not to allow it to touch the skin where it could rub. So if you leave 
two or three millimetres of bandage and then start just a little way back. That will be more comfortable for the patient. This bandage is applied as the first and second layer in a spiral fashion after encompassing the heel. It is then applied as a spiral with a 50% overlap up the limb on each turn. It is important that when you apply this bandage the texture remains as if the texture of the bandage is lost. This may mean the bandage has been stretched too much when it's applied to the limb. Again, on the top turn, after all the calf muscle has been taken in on the bandage, a few millimetres is left at the top also, and this adds to patient comfort. Any excess can be removed. And as this bandage is cohesive, it sticks to itself quite firmly, but it doesn't stick to anything else. And that is how the bandage should appear when it's applied in the correct fashion.